You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Now that we go. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Now we're talking! Hang on, coming around! Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Blot than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. Ah, promising. Once more. Aye, aye. Again. Game's over. Come on through and get those cables.
Whoa! I think they seen us. You want some of this? Then come get a taste! Finally! Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it? Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, boy. Some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important form of the thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> you don't got what is so this lady then the lady of the forge ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way, let me look. Ugh, all fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things, follow me. Jeez, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tape. got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Mm, 
Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I plumb dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of that. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. final ingredient, the blood of a god. Give her your hand.
Dalfi Vader almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new We got volunteers! What you do, hey! Think maybe you want to try out that new fear or what? Up there, see that weak spot? Jam one in right there. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> now do the thing. <laughs> yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen. I appreciate what you said back there. 
It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack-scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Glock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. <sighs> Oh, lick my spear! There's eyeballs that all over! Get your throwing arm in here! Stay coming! Look it Fear in anything like that's a sure way to alter your circumstances on the right quick. bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. They're my balls are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. I know you. You're the rump suckler about to get clean. Holding in behind you. Well, that was creepy. Ready for your next lesson? Take note of that there, watch him a who's. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. <laughs> 
Not seeing no... It's all about the proper angle with those puppies. I'm telling you, you're too far to the side. You get extra credit. <laughs> <laughs> of the both of you and we can call a square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps Mamiya. oh very well these ugly bugs maybe those grills take him down Straight it is. Reckon I see how you... from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working in morning. Oh, is that the way down? 
And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much care for Brock. But can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Careful, brother. You're covered in vibrons. Enemies to your left.
that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> 